Hi, Randy here again from Sandvik Cormont. I'm back with another tip on how to change your Sandvik Cormont quick change clamping units from left hand to right hand or from right hand to left hand, depending on your need. There are a few tools required for the job. We'll go over those tools and then we'll get started. As mentioned, a few tools are gonna to be required for this job. We're gonna need a withdrawal tool combined with an extraction tool. Also, we're gonna need a T-shaped handled Torx Plus driver. And of course, a torque wrench is required anytime we're clamping tools in and out of a Samba Cormont clamping unit. And then of course, we're gonna use a C4 clamping unit today with a face grooving tool in there. Maybe not necessarily the ideal tool for the job, but it's a good reference to show how we can switch from left to right hand. So let's get started. Okay, so we're ready to go here. And as you can see, I've got a clamping unit with a cutting tool in it, and it's mounted in the vise. And I'm using a soft cloth just to protect the clamping unit a little bit while we do this procedure. First thing I'm gonna do is, using the torque wrench, remove the cutting unit from the clamping unit. And then I'm gonna start by removing the screws on the face of the polygon flange. This is the part here we call the polygon sleeve. And there's four screws holding the polygon sleeve in place. Okay, once the four screws are removed, we're gonna install the withdrawal tool. And before we get to that point, you might wanna take note, inside the polygon sleeve here, there is a pin that locates right on a little notch on the polygon of the cutting unit. So those orient together in the cutting unit, and that's what makes your cutting unit left or right-handed. So in this case, the pin is right over here on this side, we're gonna change this guy around so that it depends on the opposite side and we're gonna go from a right hand clamping unit to a left hand. Another quick and easy way to do that is using a marker, permanent marker. Just put a mark up the face of the tool with the withdrawal tool installed. And that's a quick reference. So now we're gonna use the extracting tool we're going to thread that down into the withdrawal tool and as you notice everything I'm just fastening together by hand no torquing is required and we're just gonna okay so now we've removed the polygon sleeve and as you can see there's a dowel pin left one pin in the sleeve and one pin left in the body so if we go to try and orient this 180 degrees now, we'll have a little bit of a conflict there. So what we need to do is remove this pin and put it on the other side. So these dowel pins are threaded on one end so that you can thread a screw into there and use it as a puller to pull that thread out. If you don't have those tools available at hand, the other option is to remove the withdrawal tool from the polygon sleeve and just take the pin out of the sleeve and put it back in the body which we'll do for our demonstration purposes today. So we'll just remove the extracting tools. Okay, so all we need to do is remove this dowel pin and I just happen to have in my toolkit a small diameter punch that just fits nicely down into the threaded hole of the dowel pin and generally just with a few light taps of a hammer that's going to knock the dowel pin out of the polygon sleeve. So now we can take the dowel pin and I recommend a soft mallet to reinstall the dowel pin into the clamping unit body. So now we have our dowel pins back the way we need. So as I mentioned before, we have a pin inside this polygon sleeve. We're gonna move it to the opposite side of its original location. And then we're going to just 
reinstall that. Now you can put the withdrawal tool back on or leave it on if you originally had it on there and use the slide hammer to uh, reinstall the, the polygon sleeve. Or if you don't feel the need to do that and you decide you want to use a soft blow hammer, that's okay too. You're not going to hurt these tools. But using the soft blow hammer does allow you good alignment, sometimes easier alignment. And I can see that the front face of the polygon sleeve needs to line up with the front face of the clamping unit. And in this case, it's off a little bit. So I'm just going to use my soft blow hammer to rotate it a bit. And that should line the dowel pins up, which incidentally do have a little chamfer on them. So they will find their these angles to go together nicely. Okay. Okay, so it's that simple. We've now changed the polygon sleeve orientation 180 degrees. I'm going to reinstall these four screws. And again, they don't need to be torqued up super tight because the way the entire clamping system works, it draws the tools in and pulls everything together nicely all the time. So now we have, if you recall, the tool was oriented this hand. Now we are oriented completely the opposite hand. And if we were to clamp this tool up, with the torque wrench, we're ready to go. And there's our clamping unit, completely changed from a right to a left hand clamping unit now. The procedure is the same for all different sizes, C3 right through C10. It's very straightforward. Just change your polygon sleeve 180 degrees and you'll be back in business with the opposite hand tool. So if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your local San Coromont representative. And I hope this video has been helpful to you. Have a great day.